I'm even big smile. Oh, you! Yes! Okay, it's Valentine's Day, as you can see, there's nobody behind me, I'm alone in my bed. <laughs> but you know how this world works, if you got money, a girl is only a call away. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, 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 let's keep the show clean. I actually have a hard time doing that, I realize that. I have a hard time keeping the show clean. But anyway, anyway, let's get to it. This is a Valentine's video, Valentine's special video. So I picked out some Valentine's related news, you know, some couple related news, you know. And then we're gonna have a look at a surprise game because Valentine's is all full of surprises. I love it. So it's gonna be a surprise. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You gotta wait and see. Awesome. So let's jump straight to the news. It's been a big, big day for news. The US is getting a pink 3D. Yes, yes, a pink 3DS, you know, for the ladies. You know, Valentine's Day, you know, kind of, it's sold well before, so they're bringing it back now. Awesome, awesome, but I gotta tell you, man, if you're a guy and you're gonna be getting a girl a pink 3DS, you better be getting some fine, fine sex later that night because a 3DS, and this is an Excel version, it costs quite a bit, you know, I checked, it's about 170 pounds, okay? So if you're gonna get your girlfriend a pink 3DS, you better have some fine, fine sex later that night. Damn! Have you heard of Colors 3D? I have not heard of this before, but I checked it out and it's pretty cool. Basically, Colors 3D is an application slash game where you paint pictures on the 3DS and then you upload the picture on this website and uh, the person looking at the website can look at that picture and exactly how you drew it from the very first touch, touch to the very last touch you put on that picture. Pretty cool. A small kid, a very small kid uses that application and the website to upload, I need a girlfriend. He posts a message, I need a girlfriend, and he makes a description of himself. Smart. He did get a reply even, check this out. This is the person that replied, we got a picture of that girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good luck to that kid, this girl here, whoa. Ugh. Eat him alive, damn. Halo 2 is in the news. The Studio 343 has extended the multiplayer on the Halo 2 on PC until um, June 2013. Yes, yes, yes. Exciting, right? Cool. The two people still playing that game are like, yay, 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 ha. Come on, guys, damn it. Halo 4 is out. Halo 4 is out. Put away your Game Boys, put away your Halo 2s, jump on Halo 4, you know, do some tea back in Halo 4. Meet me in Halo 4, I'm deep, you know. I'm not that good, actually, I'm not that good. But I love the game, I don't go back to Halo 2. Why do you play Halo 2? Nintendo had an amazing, amazing big announcement today. I've been watching it online, you know, it's on YouTube. Tons of games put on the main magical 3DS. And here's the list, here's the list of the games. Look at that. Some fantastic games. Big, big day for the 3DS. You know, there's a massive year for Nintendo. Nintendo's even said that this is gonna be Luigi's year. You know, this is the Luigi's year, Nintendo said, because so many awesome Luigi, Luigi, Luigi games are coming out. So you got, I got my Luigi hat, you know. Sony. You and the beta, take note, you know, good hardcore heavyweight games coming for a system. That's what the Vita needs. That's what the Vita needs to sell, okay? Otherwise, nobody plays the Vita, okay? Nobody plays on the Vita. Okay, okay, now let's get to that surprise that I got for you. Let's check this out. Yes, the PSP. But what are we gonna play in the PSP? No, it's not gonna be a Sony game. It's gonna be a nice, nice classic. Lately, I just found myself going back to Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, the second one on the PSP and I just played these boss fights again and I was like, you know what, these boss fights are amazing. Even though they're very easy, unless you're seriously getting distracted while playing the boss fight, like making a video while fighting a boss, you know, it's still quite easy boss fight and the, the truth is they're really not that original even, but I just find them very therapeutic, almost like relaxing. I don't know, I'm not exactly sure what it is, maybe it's because I know exactly what to do, what to expect, so there's no surprises anymore, but uh, yeah, I just find these boss fights great, especially this one, I just, look at the background, I love the background in this, in this, in this whole level, I actually love the background, it's clouds, you know, you, you, you're like in this sky city, you know, and it's, there's like lava here, I, I just love it, I just think it's amazing, I, 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 I love the little music here again that comes up, you know, and uh, Dr. Eggman is like coming out of the lava, shooting at you like that, and you gotta jump on him. It, it's just cool. I just love this boss fight. I mean, it's one of my favorite boss fights ever. Even once again, it's even though it's not that original. Now, straight afterwards is the other boss fight that really, really impressed me. And I mean, now it impresses me even. But even back in the days, I thought this is such a creative boss fight because I love how these things fall, oh, there we go, you see, I love how they just fall on top of you and I thought, wow, that is so cool, you know, that 
I don't think I, I saw a boss fight back in the days where stuff like this happened. And I just found it really, really awesome that stuff can just fall on you like that, you know. Usually in boss fights, you know, the boss tries to hit you. Stuff comes from left and right. But here, stuff comes from the top. And I don't know, it just sounds simple, but... I just found it so amazing. I was like, oh my god. So you gotta be like really careful. You gotta look up and you gotta make sure nothing falls on top of you. And for me that was just really new and I just thought it's amazing. It's, it's amazing. Look at that. And he goes up into this and altogether the level is amazing. I mean this level is amazing. I love how they use the background. Notice how they use the background. I mean it's great. There's a lot of depth in it and you know it's like you're covered in this cabbage leaves or whatever it is. You're like inside this big cabbage. And it's just great. I mean, it's a great level. It's a great boss fight. Now, this boss fight here is by far my favorite boss fight in the whole game. And this is... I just love it. Once again, you know... I, I love it how you can jump on top of these arrows. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, that didn't work out. But yeah, I, I love how you can jump on top of these arrows and jump on these pillars. And then just... You can just mess them up. I mean, Robotnik probably did not expect this, okay? He's probably just thinking, yeah, 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 Sonic is just going to jump around on the bottom and I'm going to shoot him with these arrows. You know, this is what he expected me to do. He, he thought I would do this, you know. He thought I will do like that and run around back and forwards. But no, I'm not going to do that. Look, I'm just going to do that. Oh, good one. Oh, man, he actually got me. That actually makes me a little sad. But yeah, um, so yeah, he thought I'd be on the bottom over there messing around. But no, I'm not going to do that, Robotnik. I'm just going to stand here, chill, you know. And if I want, I can get you anytime I want, man. Anytime I want. Look at that. And you mess up his little machine. Again, I love the level. I love how it's like in the woods. You know, it just really reminds me of Zelda. This whole level really reminds me heavily of Zelda. And maybe that's one of the reasons why I love it so much. I loved it before and actually now I love it even more. So yeah, there we go. This is probably my best, my favorite boss fight in this Sonic game. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that news. I hope you enjoyed the news. I hope you still find it funny. I don't know. Tell me, do you still find these news funny? You know, do you want me to twist it up a bit? Tell me whatever you want. You know, I want to work with you guys. You now use the comment section, you know, to help me out here because I want to give content that you guys enjoy. That's what I want to do. Anyway, last week, oh, well, last week, a few days ago, I, I asked, if you can be teleported in any video game world, what world would that be? Awesome comments. Let's check out some of these comments. I realized you guys wanted to be in all kinds of different worlds that I, I never even thought of. You know, some of you guys want to be in the Mass Effect worlds. Someone even said you want to be in the Ape Escape world. Really? The Ape Escape? I never even imagined that. Okay. Me, myself, I want to be in the Zelda world. Or the Pokemon world. Okay, Pokemon. Okay. That's what I want to be because it's amazing. Just imagine, you know, when you wake up, it's always so sunny, it's always so beautiful, you know. Everybody lives such a happy life, you know. You go around your, your day just collecting these Pokemon, battling, collecting and collecting. Your whole life is just revolved around Pokemon. Or even the Zelda world, you know, it's amazing, again, amazing, amazing words. That, those are my two special words. So for the question today, again, once again, give me feedback because I want to work with you guys and... What do you think of that list of games that Nintendo announced for the 3DS? You know, what's the most exciting one? I think for me, it's Animal Crossing New Leaf. Oh my god, I love Animal Crossing. I just love it. I know it's a bit of a girly game. It's not exactly a killer, you shoot him up, but I love it. I love it, I love it. Anyway, thank you. Bye!